Long before electric vehicles, EVs, became mainstream, automakers had to invest millions to extract more power from high-performance engines, refining internal components and upgrading forced induction systems. With EVs, the process is much simpler. A prime example is the 2025 e-tron GT lineup. In June, Audi's sleek electric sedan received a mid-cycle update. Instead of just a modest power increase, Audi took things up a notch, transforming the car into a true supercar contender. The new flagship RS e-tron GT performance now produces a staggering 912 horsepower, rocketing from 0 to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, in just 2.5 seconds. As we eagerly await the arrival of this updated model in showrooms, we took the 2024 RS e-tron GT for a spin. Though it's not as powerful as the entry-level 2025 S e-tron GT, it still delivers incredible performance and stands out as one of the best sedans we've ever driven. Mind-boggling figures. Though the e-tron GT family has been on the market for a few years, it only became available in Australia in 2023. Before driving the RS model, we spent time with the standard e-tron GT, which was an impressive introduction to the lineup. However, nothing could prepare us for the RS jaw-dropping capabilities. The numbers are significant. First, the RS e-tron GT comes with a hefty price tag. In Australia, it starts at 246,875 Australian dollars, dollar 166, 000, before additional fees and on-road costs, around 70,000 Australian dollars, dollar 47, 000, more than the base model. Despite the premium, the price is justified. The standard model's dual electric motors produce 350 kilowatts, 469 horsepower, and 630 newton meters, 456 lbft of torque. In the RS model, those numbers jump to 440 kilowatts, 590 horsepower, and 830 newton meters, 612 lbft. With boost mode engaged, the power peaks at 475 kilowatts, 637 horsepower. Visually, the RS model doesn't stand out much from the standard e-tron GT, which is a bit of a letdown. While it does feature distinctive 21-inch alloy wheels, the front and rear fascias are nearly identical. Even the wheel arches haven't been flared, something Audi has executed brilliantly on other RS models. That said, despite the subtle design tweaks, the RS e-tron GT remains one of the most stunning cars on the market. Its sleek lines, wide stance, and low-slung body make it a visual masterpiece. From every angle, it's easily one of the best-looking Audis of this century. The perfect Audi interior? Audi has excelled at crafting a cabin in the RS e-tron GT that feels truly special. In comparison to the standard e-tron GT, which can feel a bit basic with some cheaper materials, the RS version is on another level. Our test car came equipped with the 4550 Australian dollars, dollar 3000 RS design package in red, which includes a luxurious Alcantara steering wheel. The upper dashboard, center console, and armrests are finished in soft Napa leather, far superior to the leather in the regular model. The package also introduces Audi's Dinamica microfiber to the center console, door inserts, and instrument panel cover, along with red contrast stitching and new floor mats featuring red accents. Further enhancing the interior of our RS e-tron GT was the 8400 Australian dollars, dollar 5, 650 sensory package, which elevates the cabin with massaging front seats, heated outer rear seats, carbon fiber door sills with illuminated RS logos, and a black Dinamica headliner. The addition of these premium materials significantly enhances the feel of the car and justifies the price tag. However, it would be ideal if features like microfiber and Napa leather were standard on the RS, rather than optional extras. The cabin is also outfitted with plenty of carbon fiber accents on the door panels and dashboard, and an intricate ambient lighting system enhances the premium vibe, along with the standard panoramic glass roof. On the technology front, the RS e-tron GT is largely the same as the standard model. It sports the same 12.3-inch virtual cockpit display, 10.1-inch central screen, and a head-up display. The driving position is impossible to fault, 
and the massaging seats are among the strongest we've ever experienced. Whereas most massaging seats feel like a cat crawling up and down your back, these feel almost as good as a train masseuse. The RS e-tron GT may be a five-seater, but the center seat at the rear is tight, and there's a big tunnel to contend with, limiting its practicality as a five-seater. As a four-seater, it's brilliant. In addition to the front seats offering good bolstering and plenty of adjustment, the rear seats hold passengers just as tightly. Forget what you thought sedans were capable of. While I had the standard e-tron GT to prepare myself for the RS, the way this thing moves along the tarmac is frightening. It's something that has to be felt to fully appreciate. First is the straight line performance. Yes, we know, Audi 0 to 100 km per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour. Time of 3.3 seconds in the 2024 model may not seem all that amazing when Tesla and Lucid have fast sedans that'll hit the same mark in under 2 seconds. But make no mistake, the RS e-tron GT is seriously rapid. Getting the most out of it necessitates using launch control and watching the power meter rise to 125% before letting off the brakes. Without a hint of wheel spin, even in wet conditions and with the traction control turned off, the car lurches forward and builds speed at an alarming rate. Perhaps even more remarkable than the initial pace is the second kick in the back you get when the car changes into second gear at around 85 kilometers per hour, 53 mph. Using the car's onboard timer, the best time I recorded was 3.1 seconds, and that was with two passengers. Making the acceleration all the more impressive is the repeatability. As long as you have more than 30% charge, the RS e-tron GT will hit 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour, in the low 3 second range time after time, a feat that can't be replicated by other similarly powerful EVs, like the Kia EV6. If accelerating in the RS e-tron GT feels like riding on a bullet shot out of a gun, flinging it along a mountain road is akin to riding on the Ferrari roller coaster in Abu Dhabi. The first part of the impressive handling package comes in the form of Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric six tires, measuring 265.35 at the front and a huge 305.30 at the rear. It also features double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension with trick adapted dampers. It is these dampers that are perhaps the most remarkable part of the whole car. They feature three chambers at the front and rear axles. These chambers are activated or deactivated depending on the driving mode. For example, in standard model, all three work to soften the suspension, making the RS e-tron GT incredibly supple and smooth. During heavy braking and high acceleration, only one or two of the chambers are activated, reducing body movement and allowing the EV to sit flat through corners. A rear axle differential lock is also standard on the RS model and optional on the regular e-tron GT. This diff can be actuated variably with a locking range that extends from 0 to 100%. It also allows the use of targeted torque vectoring and can break the inside rear wheel during cornering. All-wheel steering is also featured. The result of these systems is incredible. The Audi will fly up a mountain.